Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and in this video, we're going to learn how to write in binary. Why is that important, writing in zeros and ones? Well, if you try to write a story on your computer, your computer doesn't speak the same language that we do. It only speaks in binary. It can only write in zeros and ones. So if we want to save that awesome story you just wrote, we need to write it in binary. So how does that work? Because letters aren't numbers, and in a previous video, we learned how to count in binary. And in fact, we'll need that skill to write our letters in binary. But what we're going to do is we're going to convert our letters to a number using an ASCII 2 table. And this table is used by all of our programs, Notepad, Microsoft Word, OpenOffice, everything you can think about. And it gives digits to each letter. So for example, the letter A is the number 65. So I can look at my dot cards and think, how can I make 65? Well, I know that I have a 64 card here, and that means that all of the other dots added up, they're gonna be equal to 63. So I have to have the 64 card to make 65. Obviously, 120 is gonna to be too big, so I'm gonna flip that over, that's gonna get a zero. And if I wanna to go to 65, I just need one more dot, which means I just need this one and all of the other cards are going to be zeros. So to write the letter A in ASCII or in binary, I'm gonna write 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then if I wanted to write the letter B, that's the next letter, so it's gonna be 66, and so I'll flip this over, and I'll have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, if I look at this and I put all of these up, this is gonna be, only get me through 15 letters of my alphabet, through the letter O. In fact, the letter P is the number 80. So then how could I make 80 in binary? Well, if I take 64 and I add eight to it, that's gonna be 72 plus four is 76, 78, 79. So I don't have enough dots like this. I need to flip over one more card. So I'm gonna flip over this card, which is my 16 card, and I don't need anything else. So to write P, it would be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And so that is how we write our letters in binary. We convert it to a number with an ASCII 2 table, and then we write that number in binary. If you want to learn more about the ASCII 2 table and how it decides what letter is where and the digit that the number it gets, you can check out our other video that's available online. Thanks so much for watching.